Hi everyone, welcome back to Ramblings of a Blindish Girl. I wanted to spend this video kind of doing another demonstration of what RPI site looks like. When I made the video with a post-it note in the little hole, I had forgotten about how my vision was prior to some surgeries that I had. Uh, it was very interesting before because I had floaters and I had cataracts. So let's see, in 2016 and 17, I had cataract surgery on both eyes, then zapping to break up scar tissue that started to reform, and then also vitrectomies on both eyes, which removed the vitreous fluid inside my eyes with all the gunky stuff in it. And so now my vision is clear because the cataracts are gone. It was essentially like LASIK. And then the gunky stuff, it was kind of like like clear jelly, like would float over my, my vision and gunk it up for a minute. So now that's gone as well. So that's why my vision is as clear as it is now because they had to take some uh, extraordinary measures to get rid of all the hindrances. So what I'm going to do is I have figured out a way to demonstrate to you guys what each of those things look like and I'm going to add those in just a second. Okay, so this is kind of how my cataracts looked to me. Essentially, it's just a milky film that is over your eyesight. You can still see, you can still recognize things, but it's just a, a film that you honestly don't even realize is there until it's gone because it builds so gradually that you don't realize that the world isn't crisp and clear anymore, but you don't really pay attention to it because you can still see. So then next I'm going to add floaters. So here I'll add floaters onto the cataracts so that you can see what I was seeing with both. I took a little piece of plastic. Basically, these floaters would just kind of like go across my vision and float around for a second. I'd, I'd roll my eyes and then they'd like kind of go away. So that was especially frustrating when I was reading all my material for school because I'd have to like take a take a second and just kind of like roll my eyes around and try and like you know, kind of sh shake them away. But next, I'll kind of go a step forward. All right, so this is what it looked like post cataract surgery because I basically had LASIK and my lenses were all clear and I didn't need contacts anymore. Although I do need a little bit of corrective for far away, but not enough to where I need to wear them all the time. So during this period of time, it was just the clarity but still with the floaters. So I would be reading and whatnot, and then I would just kind of like come over and the the clear jelly would just kind of like be there, and then it wouldn't, and it'd move around and get all gunky, and then it was gone. So if you watch the video on what it was like to have no peripheral vision, and then couple that with these issues as well, I'm sure you could imagine how annoying that could be and how troubling that could be for trying to read or watch TV or look around at all. It was uh, a, a lot of trouble there for a while. But now for me, everything is a lot clearer, a lot cleaner. And even though I don't have the, the quantity, I still have, I have quality again. So that's very good. And so there are options for people with RP to be able to maximize their vision that they have left or to prepare for these options as the, they become worse. Because cataracts are a really common uh, hazard, I guess, of RP. And so it's something that they definitely need to uh, expect at some point. I mean, age in general, you can develop them, but it's a lot more uh, typical with RP. So 
I just wanted to share this part of the video with everybody. Uh, eventually, maybe I'll make a what it's like to be night blind video, which is really interesting. But I hope that these videos uh, help you give some or help give you some insight on what it might be like for somebody with RP that's in your life or in your community. And maybe it will help you understand why people are doing the things that they might be doing or not doing. And for you guys to be tolerant of other people that are different than you or be tolerant of people that don't do things the way that you do. And just to try and be kind to each other and patient and just open your minds and eyes to things that aren't comfortable or part of your norm. So thank you again for watching and I hope that you enjoy this video. Uh, please like and subscribe if you do and I will see you next time. Bye.